Hello you beautiful people, it's Adam here from Pause Parts and Games and welcome to Season 2 of Planet Coaster here on the channel. So what does that even mean? Well I'll get onto that in a few minutes, but first of all if you enjoy this kind of video don't forget to give us a like down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the content. There'll be plenty of Planet Coaster stuff coming from the PC and the console version here on Pause Parts and Games. Right then, so what does Season 2 mean? So we have spent a lot of time over the last couple of years on this game and we're putting a pin in all of that. This is a brand new start, a brand new fresh beginning here in the game and we're going to be covering the console version and the PC version, dibbing in here and there and doing little bits and pieces in the game, some review stuff, some testing things, some builds. It's going to be a whole collection of new ideas. So in this episode today, the very first here in Season 2, we are comparing the Planet Coaster PC version with the console version. And the best way I could think to do that is by making the same thing in both versions and then timing to see how long it takes me to do it. Now, a little bit of housekeeping before we get into this. I've only played around very, very briefly with the console version. So this is the first sort of build I've ever done in that. So it gives it a very good test for somebody who has come like me from the PC version. And the other little bit of housekeeping for this, um, the, P the console version and the DLCs were kindly given to me by Frontier for purposes of testing and review. So I just want to get that out there first of all. So I'm going to put the two videos up side by side now as you'll be able to see the timings of what we've done. Um, it's a very, very, very simple build just before I put them up. All we've done is it built a little entrance way with some shops inside. I'll just show you now. This is the PC version. Um, a few shops in there, a few bins and benches, a chair swing, a little garden, a coaster, a custom coaster at the end, and a bounty pirate ship. So it's a very, 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 very simple build, but the idea was to see exactly how I could do it in the console version in terms of timings. So let's jump onto that footage right about now. Okay, so the timer has begun. Now I think you'll be a little bit surprised by this. I certainly was when I watched back the footage. So, like I've just showed you, it's a very, very, very simple build. All we're doing is putting a few little rides down um, and it's just purely, like I've mentioned, for test purposes. Um, now, we might expand on this idea a bit later on and do something a bit more unique with the uh, with the builds and the comparisons we do. Um, but yeah, it comes out quite well. So, what you're looking at here, like I've mentioned, is two parallel videos. They are filmed real time and I've sped everything up by 400%. So, everything is equally sped up and everything worked out about the same sort of time at the end as you will see when we get to the end of it so the time at the bottom of your screen is real time for the building so in so as that's showing now we're about four minutes in so uh the pc version so the the footage you're watching on the right hand side i did first as that was the one like i said i'm more familiar with so it made more sense to do it in in the game that i know the best and then the console version was done um, straight after, around about 10 minutes later. Uh, and I had a reference image up just so I could make sure I got everything as near as possible. You'll see there's a few little differences here and there. Um, mainly because it's stuff I either couldn't do in one version or the other. Or I just used the wrong asset. There were only very slight things. Uh, but generally most of the stuff has been recreated pretty much the same. Uh, a few of the shot placements is a little bit different. Um, but it, it's, it's that's that's not really relevant. It, it's mainly just to see that we can do um, the building and, and the shape and everything like that um, pretty much the same. Now you'll see a few different techniques here using the console version. I just place in the the, the walls there individually um, as it's got a nice sort of auto stack feature. And then the PC version, I did a, co a copy and paste job, which is again just stuff I'm used to. Um, so you'll see one slight variant here is I use a slightly higher roof on the console version, but I don't think that matters too much. Um, but this is where we'll start seeing a little bit of a time jump because I had massive issues with the roof uh, on the console version. 
uh, not necessarily this roof here, the, the high one, but when I start putting in the lower roof, it was being a bit fiddly. Because um, what I did realise not long after I started putting that roof in, as you can see from the PC footage, what I like to do is put a roof in, go inside, and then start building um, sort of inside out, so I can see how it looks with a roof on. I couldn't find a way to do that with the console version. Um, I couldn't get down low enough, as you'll see in a few seconds or at some point soon, I, I try and zoom in to try and build underneath that roof, and that's the lowest I could get. So I really had trouble with that. So I had to delete a bit of the roof, try again. And what that meant was certain elements I couldn't even pull in. Like uh, I couldn't finish up this roof section that I'm putting here currently on the PC version above the shops. I couldn't finish that on the console version because I couldn't quite get to the edge. I couldn't put the chandeliers in on the roof because I couldn't get low enough to place those. Uh, and also the signage I'm about to put up on the shop fronts. Um, I didn't even attempt, I'll be honest with you, didn't even attempt those. I just assumed it wouldn't be possible. I mean, I could have probably done that, laziness aside. <laughs> I could have probably put those in. Uh, but yeah, the actual roof inside of things is uh, the first kind of issue I had, but it only puts us back a few moments. It doesn't, it doesn't delay us too much, as you can see. Uh, I just had to make that hole put in a few bits of these roofing, roofings over the side bits um, but I had this issue where it kept snapping above um, so maybe I could have turned off the auto snap feature uh, I could have made a work around that um, but because I was against the clock I thought best move on and we just left a, one gap of roof either side um, but yeah generally it's not too far separate as you can tell they're only a couple of minutes behind oh and i did have an issue there with the color as you can see on the console version footage couldn't quite get it to match i couldn't figure out how to do like the the, the dropper tool which you can do on pc i'm sure it's there i just couldn't find it uh, but again i was on against the clock so a slight color variant was uh, was okay um so going back over to the pc footage then um i thought just a little nice bit of rockery and trees and shrubbery gives us a good um, sort of example of, of, of a very quick bit of theming we can do in both versions uh, and that's what we get working on in the console version in a second that's what I finished playing around with the roof as there was like I said a few issues with the the height placement and the height variance uh, over on the PC version now I started with a very very simple layout of a coaster uh, just using the dragon coaster because it's uh, a kiddie ride and I'm not I'm not the best at making coasters in this game anyone who's watched me for a while will know that I'm pretty terrible at coasters so I thought a junior coaster would be the best way to do it very simple layout one lift hill a very small drop uh, up into another incline then down into a helix to the end um, very simple it didn't actually make it when I was building this in the PC version I can't even build a, a junior coaster right but we rectify that, we lift it all up, we straighten it all out, and we, we, we get it working. Um, one thing I did have a, a struggle with, as you'll see in a few minutes once we get to building this on the console side, um, I couldn't figure out how to um, put in, how to auto finish the ride, auto complete it. I figured it out eventually, but yeah, it was a bit of a pain. And just watching back this footage now, I do, I have just noticed that the pond we've just built underneath the coaster I did actually forget to do that on the console version so let's add a few few extra seconds onto the timers at the end <laughs> just to make it seem seem like we've done it um, so yeah so now we're back over here with the console version so we are pretty much um, almost up to date as you can see in terms of the timings we're not too far behind now we've caught up by putting in the um, the shrubbery and the rocks pretty simple that all works quite well um, in terms of this coaster builder, it took me an absolute age to try and figure out the buttons for this. I couldn't find, for the life of me, at the moment, this, this pause, I was trying to figure out how to get the, the track to um, pitch. Um, I did figure it out eventually, it's just uh, one of the, the, the uh, I think it's square, brings up a second menu on the controller, which we figured it out. We got there in the end. But yeah, it did take me a while. But again, I didn't want to spend too much time on it because we were against the clock. Um, so yeah, the console version, as you can see here, I had a little issue at the end trying to get it to snap in. Um, it, I feel as though you have to get both of the pieces you're trying to connect quite close together for it to auto-complete, um, which is obviously different to the version over on the PC, which you just do it from anywhere and it'll complete. Um, so, 
the PC version, I'm giving it a few extra seconds here just to make sure I've got the timings correct. However, the official finish time we are going to put here is 3, 30 minutes and 10 seconds in terms of the, the build. Now, it probably was a little bit earlier than that, um, but that's the time we're going to go for just in purposes of this testing. Um, so anyway, move back over to the console footage. Not that far behind, considering it's the first time I've ever built using a controller. And that's the thing, the, mo the biggest takeaway that I will do from this comparison, which is why I wanted to do it, um, it it's not as difficult as I thought it would be. Um, because they've built the console version, quite a lot of it around sort of pre-made features and, and pre-made structures and things, which makes sense because it's not as intuitive with a controller. But it's a lot better than I thought, and that's something which we've taken away from this. Um, honestly, coming into this, I, I expected it to be about double the time of the build. Um, I was pleasantly surprised by the end figure. And as you can see, we're putting in the last ride, so we're pretty much there. Um, so, yeah, are you surprised? I don't know, I certainly am. Let me know down in the comments what you thought this um, result would be. As I said, I, I would have put money on this being at least 20 minutes difference, minimum. Um, and the end result, <laughs> you will be very surprised. Like I said, I know we didn't put everything in fully, um, but that's pretty much it. Look at that. We're going to end the time there at 36 minutes. And we'll go 13 seconds, as it says on the screen. So, pleasantly surprised. Hmm, I thought it'd be more than that. Okay, so that's our testing done for today. So as you can see, it's around about five minutes quicker doing it on the PC version. Now, yes, you could argue that's just because I'm used to the PC version. I've never done anything in the console version before. It's the first time ever trying to build with a controller. A few things of note from the footage, as I've mentioned. The building itself is very difficult on console if you're putting in the roof first. You can't get low enough to the ground to build a shell and then theme indoors. So you've got to do everything. From, from what I've found on that very brief go, um, you're going to have to build everything sort of first, then put your building round, which is not what I'm used to doing. I like to go inside a building and really put the details in. So there's a few things that we weren't able to do inside this. Um, which I just couldn't figure out a way to get inside, like the chandeliers and, and, and stuff inside the actual building. And then once I put the roof on, putting in the benches and the bins was quite tricky and all the signage on the buildings I didn't have chance to do on the console version. I just couldn't figure out a way to do it. Um, so that's that aside. Um, obviously, I'm used to the PC version and that's the version which I'm going to continue to play for any kind of builds. Um, however, we've got a lot more comparison stuff that we'll do um, over the next couple of months while we, we sort of get into this new season. Um, as an initial test, it works a lot better than I would have imagined it would using a console, uh, using a controller. It's uh, getting when you get used to the buttons, I think you'll be okay because obviously I'm used to con uh, keyboard commands for a lot of the building stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a lot more intuitive than I thought it would be. So they've done well with that side of things, and it's just a case I'm not used to that style of build. I'm not used to the um, the controller. So I think once we have a little bit more experience with that, we should get a bit better with it. Um, but from an initial test, I don't think five minutes is actually that bad, considering I've never played the console version or built in it until today. So that's going to do us for this first look at the console versus the PC Planet Coaster editions. If this is the kind of stuff you are into, don't forget to give us a like down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the content. There'll be plenty of other Planet Coaster stuff coming out as and when I decide to make it here at Homeport's Games, so do subscribe to stay up to date. Right, thank you ever so much. See you next time, guys. Bye.